In this video, I am going to explain you about design procedure of synchronous counters. Now we will see how this procedure can be. These are the steps we have to follow when we are designing synchronous counters. For example, here I am going to consider mod 6 counter. So here mod 6 means here 6 number indicating the number of states in the synchronous counter. Now here the first point it is saying obtain state diagram from the given circuit information. So in this state diagram it is going to consist of the number of states are 6 number of states. The modulus number indicate the number of states in the state diagram. Second one determine the number of required flip flops. Now, when we are finding the number of flip-flops, we have to use this equation. By this equation, we are going to find the number of flip-flops. For example, for this mod 6 synchronous counter, here the number of small n is going to be the number of binary bits. And capital N is going to be the number of states. So here 2 power small n is greater than or equal to capital N means 2 power n greater than or equal to capital N here it is saying 6. So for small n equal to 3 this equation is satisfying means 2 power 3 greater than or equal to 6 means i t is greater than 6. So this is equation we are using to find out the number of flip flops. For example, if we consider small n equal to 2 means 2 square means 4 is greater than or equal to 6 will become. So this equation will not satisfy. So only for n equal to 3 this equation is going to be satisfied means for this mod 6 synchronous counter the number of flip flops are going to be 3 flip flops. The third point, write the excitation table of above mentioned flip flops. In the design of the synchronous mod 6 counter itself, we mentioned use clock T flip flops. So we have to use T type of flip flops. And the excitation table regarding the T flip flop, I already made the video. So for that, you go through. That video I am going to provide in the description box. Fourth point, develop the circuit state table by using excitation table. And the fifth point, use K-map. To find out the Boolean expressions, we are going to use K-maps. So use K-map to find out the expression for corresponding input function of counters. The sixth point, Draw the counter circuit by using flip flops and required gates from the above obtained Boolean expressions. These are the six points we have to note when we are designing synchronous counters. Now we will see the design process of this mod 6 synchronous counter. Now here the number of states are representing as capital N equal to 6 states as given in this question. Now, based on this number of states, we find this, the number of flip-flops can be used. By using this equation, we find here, the number of flip-flops are small n equal to 3, which is going to indicate the number of flip-flops we may use in this mod 6 synchronous counter. Now, in this design procedure, we mention use the t flip-flop. So, in this designing process, we require the T flip-flop excitation table. So, here I written this excitation table of T flip-flop. In this excitation table, it is going to represent the transition from present state to next state. That means, before giving the clock pulse, represent present state is Q of T. And after giving the clock pulse, the next state will see Q of T plus 1. Based on this transition, in 0 to 0 transition, capital T input is going to be 0. 
In 0 to 1 transition, we may get this is 1. In 1 to 0 transition, if this is t input is going to be 1. 1 to 1 transition, the t input is going to be 1. In this excitation table, only one point we have to remember that when the present state and next state are remains the same means the t input is equal to 0 here. When the present state is here 1 and the next state is 1 means the t input equal to 0 here. When the present state and next state are complementing, here 0 is the present state. After giving the clock pulse, the next state is 1 means the t input is going to be 1 here. The present state is 1, the next state is 0 means complementing these bits means the t input is 1 here. Now we will find the state diagram. Here already we mentioned the number of states are 6 means we are going to use the first 6 number of binary states. Actually, with the 3 number of binary bits, the possible combinations of states are going to be 8 states. Here I write this from 3 zeros to 3 ones. These are the 8 number of states can be possible by using 3 binary bits. But here they require mod 6 means the first 6 number of states here we are going to use. So from 3 zeros to 1 zero 1 are the 6 number of states we are using in this mod 6 synchronous counter. Now we will see the state table. How we are going to find the state table means by using this excitation table. Here these are the present states. For example, if I consider this is the present state 0 0 0. Next, the next state is going to be from this present state, it is moving to this state, 0, 0, 1. So this is the present state, this will be going to be the next state. So here, 0, 0, 1. And if we consider the second transition, if 0, 0, 1 is the present state, the next state is going to be 0, 1, 0. So here, 0, 1, 0. If 0, 1, 0 is the present state, the next state is going to be 0, 1, 1. So here we may write 0, 1, 1. And similarly, we may write all these next states. If 0, 1, 1 is the 1, 0, 0 will be the next state. By seeing the state diagram itself, we may write the next state very easily. 1, 0, 1 is the present state. The next state is going to be 1, 0, 1. If we observe, 1, 0, 1 is the present state. The next state is, it is moving to the initial state. So, 1, 0, 1 is the present state. 3, 0 is the next state. And it will be going to be in similar fashion. Now, coming to these two states are unused states in this mod 6 synchronous counter. So, here the next states we are considering it as don't case. Now, we are going to find the T flip-flop inputs. Now here, this TA is going to be the input of A flip-flop. This B, TB is going to be the B flip-flop input. This TC is the C flip-flop input. Now, we will find these inputs from the transitions. Firstly, to find out the TA input, we need to see QA to QA plus 1 transition. If present state is the 0 before clock pulse, this is the next state after giving the clock pulse. So, to find out the TA inputs, we need to see QA bits and these bits are transition from QA plus 1. So, 0, 0 transition. By this excitation table, the T flip-flop input is going to be 0. Next, here also 0, 0 transition. So, here 0. And 0, 0 transition means 0. Here it will be 1. 1 to 1 transition means again 0. 
Next one to zero transition means one. In one to don't care transition, we have to write the don't care itself. Here don't care, here don't care. So these bits are also become don't care. Next, we will find out the inputs for the B flip flop. That is the TB. Now we have to find out this one. We have to consider QB to QB plus one transition. In this, we may find zero. 1 0 1 0 here 0 next we will find out the tc input that means the c flip flop t input now to find out this one we have to see the transition from qc to qc plus 1 so when 0 to 1 transition from this excitation table 0 to 1 transition means 1 here. So here it will be PC is going to be 1. Now 1 to 0 means again 1. 0 to 1 means here again 1. 1 to 0 means 1. 0 to 1 means 1. 1 to 0 means here also 1. Now in this manner we find the TA inputs TB inputs and TC inputs. Based on these inputs, here we have to find out the TA Boolean expression, TB Boolean expression, TC Boolean expression by using K maps. So here we are we need a three variable Cornell map to find out the Boolean expressions. In this K map, the input variables are going to be the present state variables. Always the next state variables will be going to be the outputs of that counter. So when we are designing synchronous or asynchronous counters, always we need to consider present states only. So here in this K maps, we are going to consider the input variables are QA, QB, QC. Now by using three variable K maps, here we may find the expressions for TA, for TB and for TC. In these expressions, for these K maps, we have to consider only ones and don't case in the inputs of TA or TB or TC. Now, by combining the ones and don't case for the TA expression, we may form like this. And the TB expression can be here, QA complementary and QC. And the TC expression is going to be 1 here. By using these Boolean expressions, now we have to draw the logic diagram of this mod 6 synchronous counter. Now in this mod 6 synchronous counter, we are going to use three type of flip flops. So here I draw here the three number of T flip flops. I give it here the name as A flip flop, B flip flop and C flip flop here. Here the, for A flip flop, the TA input can be, we may give as, based on this Boolean expression, here we are going to use two AND gates and one OR gate. Based on these gates, we may give the input for this TA flip flop. And the TB input is going to be based on this expression, we may give as QA complement and QC complement output is can be given to this TB input and the TC input can be at logic 1. Now this will be the design procedure of synchronous counter. In this way we may design any synchronous counter by following these steps. This completes the explanation of Mod 6 synchronous counter. Thank you.